So let's talk about that noise your sleeve makes. Three, two, one. Here we go! Hello, I'm Dr. Alvarez with IndoBariatric.com, and on this episode, I would like to talk to you about that gurgling noise your sleeve can make every once in a while. This gurgling noise or bubbling sensation or bubbling noise is very common, and it is something that can be um, easily uh, treated as I'll explain, so make sure you stick to the end of this video. Now, very weird, can you believe that this was the very first question I answered on episode one of the Ask Dr. A show? That was the very first show that was shown on YouTube. That was at the end of June 2015. Just curious fact. <laughs> wow, just wow. I'm I'm having so much fun uh, helping educate those who uh, who wish to know more about the gastric sleeve procedure. So anyway, back to the question. Um, the gurgling sounds, that gurgling sensation that you 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 hear or you can actually even feel um, or notice is a frequent sign that your sleeve is swollen. That is it. What, could, what can be done? What should I do about that gurgling noise? Well, in most common cases, the gurgling can be cleared uh, by just simply taking some over-the-counter antiacids. Yep, that's it. A round of antacids for 15, 21 days, and that noise and sensation will go away. So what causes the noises? Think about it this way. Your inflammation of your sleeve has made your stomach even smaller, which creates a tighter space for food and liquids to pass through, which causes that gurgling sound. It's like pouring liquid into a funnel. The smaller the funnel, the slower the liquid or the liquids go down. Now, mix food into that equation. You get it, right? So in this case, antiacids help reduce uh, the inflammation and helps eliminate the noises and helps balance out uh, the acids in your stomachs, which tend to make that gurgling noise or gurgling sounds. Is this normal? Yes. It is, and you should expect it once in your life with your sleeve. It is quite common, and it is just your sleeve reacting to or normalizing to your daily habits. Should I have an upper GI uh, endoscopy performed? Uh, no, uh, well, not necessarily, unless you want the pleasure of having a tube stuck down your throat and into your stomach only to be told uh, that your sleeve is slightly swollen, which you most likely knew, and then given a prescription, uh, which is mostly going to be uh, antiacids, an acid re re reducer, or a PPI, which is proton pump inhibitors like omeprazole or pantoprazole, etc. So I would encourage you to try the 15, 21 day round of antiacids first, as it usually clears up the gurgling and it, it is a lot cheaper and way less, I mean, stressful. Now, note, if the gurgling continues or you have other associated symptoms, please touch base with your bariatric surgeon or GI specialist because maybe at that point you will need an upper endoscopy. By the way, that first question on that first episode that we just talked about has turned nowadays into over 744 questions answered and over 248 episodes so far in nine years of the Ask Dr. A show, and there is no end in sight. So the Ask Dr. A show is there to help my past patients or anybody who's 
who wish to, wishes to know more about weight loss surgery or the gastric sleeve and how life and medications and exercise and diet can interact with the sleeve procedure. So there you have it. Did you enjoy the content? If you did, I would greatly appreciate it if you can like this video and don't forget to smash that subscribe button down there so we can hang out again. I'm Dr. Alvarez with endobariatric.com where we are changing lives. Yes, we are. One sleeve at a time. Take care and God bless.